This is the oxyacetylene torch. I don't know any other tool that can shear up to seven inches of metal, cut right through that. Typically in a shop, we go up to one inch. Here we're cutting half an inch, but this is a rapid tool for numbers, about 20 inches per minute on doing half inch steel. Very critical tool. You can, you can actually take this around, move this with you. It's on a cart. The way it works is actually the oxyacetylene, in this case, which we use oxyacetylene, you can use other gases such as propane, or how about wood gas from our gasifier? That's what we're gonna actually try, or hydrogen from water. But here it's oxyacetylene, gets the, it heats the metal up to a very high temperature, and then you depress this lever, and it blows a stream of plain oxygen, pure oxygen, where actually the oxygen, once the metal gets heated up, it just burns right through, all these sparks come flying out, and you can cut through steel readily. Very important because you can cut holes, you can shear stuff, you can move it somewhere, you gotta fix something, that bolt didn't come out, you can cut it off. A very versatile tool. And the safety about it is primarily the high temperature, first of all, wear gloves because the stuff you're gonna cut gets very hot. Uh, eyewear, as in protective eyewear like this, because the, the flame is rather bright. Um, keep, keep care, attention on your eyes. Um, and then, of course, once you're cutting and things can fall down, make sure you have, say you're cutting a big pipe, things can fall down, so wear steel-toed shoes, full-bodied clothing for the sparks and, and spatter that comes out. Uh, the, the thing about it is that it's not a clean cut. There's some spatter on the back, so you typically have to use a grinder afterwards to make full use of this. Notes on pressure regulation, so you're mixing oxygen and oxyacetylene whenever you, you're burning with the oxyacetylene torch. You turn it on a little bit, uh, the pressure should be between 5 and 10 pounds per square inch. Now the thing is, uh, once, once the tank runs out, you have to unscrew this regulator here, which regulates the pressure. You can see how much fuel you have left. But the thing is about this, the one thing is, it's, ca it's counter-threaded, so that you put it on in the opposite direction to normal. It's a left-hand screw, so that you can never mix up the fuel line with the oxygen line. And on the oxygen side, the concept is you can set the pressure between maybe like 10 to 40 or even higher, but the thicker the metal is, you might want to boost up the pressure way high to cut up to like 7 inches, but basically you want to cut with as little oxygen as possible because the less oxygen you have, the hotter the flame will be when you start up. I believe that's true. And as far as the, oxyas the acetylene, you want to use as little of it as possible because actually once you light the flame, the, the, the cut starts, you're not really, it's an exothermic reaction. So you don't need the extra heat from the acetylene anymore. So you actually would, in, in best case, you'd actually shut off the gas if you've got a perfect condition, but, but of course we don't. So, uh, but you do want to use as little, just enough of the acetylene to get the metal red hot but no more than that because you're just wasting gas because it's an exothermic reaction. That's about it.